Hello and welcome back to another episode of Geek with Glasses. Today I wanted to do an app review. The, the app that I'm actually going to talk about today, right here in the middle of my screen, it's called Quick.io. Quick.io was actually discovered due to a necessity. I used to use, and if you've seen my previous video on Audio Galaxy, uh, I was using Audio Galaxy to stream all of my music content across the web to my mobile devices, whether I was connected over a Wi-Fi or on my iPhone using my 3G. I had my entire music collection available to me by installing a little app on my computer that houses all of that media here at my house and then utilizing the Audio Galaxy app I could stream. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. However, you might not want to. Dropbox recently bought Audio Galaxy and the Audio Galaxy streaming service is no longer available. So I went out, tried to find a replacement app, and not only did I find a replacement app, I found a far superior app in Quick.io. So again, we'll go ahead and launch Quick.io. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Quick.io, I believe it's quick.io.com, uh, I'll, I'll annotate the uh, video with the actual uh, web address. You'll download a small server file that you'll install on a computer that houses your media. Now the cool part about Quick.io is, it's very quick and easy to configure. You'll install it. You'll point it to the directories uh, of your computer system that has whatever media files that you want. But the cool part about Quick.io is, uh, A, I can uh, you know, stream music from my server, or I can uh, look at content and media that I have on my machine. I'm going to go ahead and connect to my server. And immediately what you see on the left-hand side is I have a document button at the top, so my folders. right? These are the folders that I have uh, currently shared on my server in the other room. I can click on the music icon and I can see all of my music. I can switch between album or artist. So now I can see all of my artists that are available to be streamed. Um, and again, I can go back to that album view. And if there is something that I want to listen to, I'll scroll through. I will keep scrolling. There we go. And let's see. Let's try a disturbed song. Click it. And it begins playing. Right. So now let me uh, turn this down. I do have the ability, um, if I'm back at my main you know, screen, if I do my double click, I do have controls over that app. You can see that Quick.io is over here, and I can fast forward and go to another song. So I could turn this up, and I could advance songs, obviously within the album that I'm in. If we jump back into the app, um, I can go ahead and stop the player. I can look at uh, my music video, and so this is a great way automatically to have your entire library of content available to you when you're on the go. Again, via Wi-Fi, um, on any of your mobile apps. You download Quick.io, it's a free app, and the server app is free as well. Now the other thing that Quick.io does that uh, Audio Galaxy does not do is allows me to download music. So if there's, let's say there's an album I'm listening to and I don't have it on my local device, I can go ahead and select that album and I can save it locally. I can hit the download button after I select the songs and it takes those songs and it downloads them from my server at home and puts them on my device and keeps it for local storage so if I'm offline I can continue to consume that content. So if I click back out, a couple of other things that we have. Let's go back. So I've got all of my photos um, available that I have a, a photography um, folder that is shared up and I can go through and I can look at any photos that I would like to look at as well. So Quick.io is not only going to stream my, my music but I can look at any photography as well or pictures that I've snapped that are saved on that server and also video. So what I'm looking at right now, these are all movies that I have in my, quick t uh, my iTunes library and I can at any point in time come in here and stream and it doesn't matter what the media format is, right? So if I wanted to watch uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, I can resume playing, I was watching it, it immediately goes out, connects, streams that content. Obviously right now I'm streaming it via Wi-Fi, but this can also happen over your cellular network. It takes a little bit longer to buffer and to stream, but I can watch all of my movies, all of my content directly on my iPad without having the stored uh, to, to store that video content locally as long as I have a, a, an internet connection. So, and again, it doesn't matter what the uh, video format is, the app does all of the conversion for you, right? So, here's all of my movies, uh, not only, you know, the movies that I have in my iTunes library, but I also have video clips, um, you know, that I've, videos that I've taken with my, you know, digital cameras or my GoPro or whatever video you have, you can have all of your content 
readily available. Now the other thing too is you do have a files button, right? So I don't have any files. I can view documents, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, whatever the case may be as text files. This app will do the conversion for you and display it. You're not going to be able to edit it, but you'll be able to view those, photo, uh, those apps, um, not apps, but documents. Now I have not tried downloading one of the documents locally to the app to see if I could edit it. I'll have to try that. But uh, the fact that I have the ability to look at documents, music, photos, and video is awesome. This other button over here, this is any downloaded content. So this is any content that I have gone out there and downloaded um, from my server onto the local device. So now I could watch it if I'm on a plane or taking a, you know, taking a, a cab ride somewhere. I don't have to be streaming if I don't have that capability. And then I have the QuickBox and uh, QuickBox is basically kind of a storage. I can put files in here and then quickly access them um, anywhere. It's kind of cloud storage, if you will. So take a look at it. It's called uh, QuickIO. QuickIO is an awesome app. Again, download the application, install it on a machine that has your media on it. I've got a server at home that has an external hard drive that contains all of my photography, all of my videos, all of my, you know, my entire iTunes library, whether it be movies, TV shows, everything is available um, on that machine. So I installed the Quick app, uh, the QuickIO server app. Then you just download and, and install the QuickIO app on your iOS devices. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check to see if QuickIO is available on Android. Again, I'll annotate the video with uh, information on that. But QuickIO, awesome. This is a total thumbs up. This is my go-to and my number one favorite app right now, uh, just based on the fact that I can get all of my content on the go with my media. So in case I'm traveling and I want to watch something, but I don't have the storage on my, on my iPad, I can stream a movie or I can take a look at pictures. Um, you know, I can save those pictures locally and edit them with you know any apps that I may have downloaded um, on my iPad and more importantly you know stream all of my music so I could be sitting in a hotel room on a business trip or you know just out of town on vacation and uh, stream all of my music and not just be limited to what I have as far as storage on my device so there you have it quick IO awesome app total thumbs up love this thing check it out again thanks for watching please subscribe and comment and if you know of any other streaming apps that you like please leave me a uh, comment and a suggestion or a link to them and I'll take a look at them by far this was literally the first app that I downloaded after quickly seeing it in the App Store and I, I see no need to get anything else this does it all so uh, thanks for watching y'all have a great day bye bye